My name is Newton Ogada. Uh, this is my home. And, uh, uh, where we are, we are doing uh, dairy farming, and, uh, poultry farming, and other small scale farming. And uh, I love farming. That's what I can say. And uh, again, uh, what you see happening here, I'm trying to come out with an, a structure that uh, will make us process our own milk in this community and again to train more farmers on how we can go about it and we get enough milk to process because the way life is taking us now we should think otherwise to produce the cons we need to produce what we consume we don't need to buy everything from the market because life is becoming so difficult so I decided as Newton to apart from whatever I'm doing outside there like having an hostel, school, and orphanage. Uh, all this leads to the market. When I'm feeding the kids at the orphanage and I'm feeding the patient at the hostel, I have to go back to the market. So I decided not to go to the market all the time, but there are things that we can make from our own. So if you see here, we have dairy farming and we are producing milk to cut across help me in the school, in the hostel, and at the orphanage. Being having cows on uh, is not enough because I have cow, but then the cow has the waste and that waste we are using to uh, generate the energy. We are using our biogas system to make our food and we are advancing even to use it on the, the shower because we, 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 we have noticed that we can just buy a tank and use the same biogas to boil the water that we are using in our house. And again, apart from that, there's some waste coming from the biogas, which is actually uh, going to help us feed our chicken and feed our fish because we start doing the, the fish farming too. And apart from that, cows is giving me more than what I'm expecting because, number one, they give me milk, and we have a lot of milk. This uh, five, six cows, we are getting like 60 liters in a day. And again, apart from that, uh, that milk, we get cream which we are using to cook our vegetables. Uh, and then again, we have our local uh, oil that we are getting from the milk we use to uh, put in our food. So, yeah, 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 we have it. So I'm getting uh, more than what people think they can get in cows, I mean from cows or from dairy, dairy cattle. Uh, and again, uh, if I go to the, the, the biogas, uh, it's a little bit advanced and it helps in many ways. You know, when you're using the biogas, the, 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 the smoke is not there. So you cannot get affected by the smoke. And again, when you're using the biogas, you get the power and the quality fire that you need to uh, you use when you're cooking. So through the, the dairy farming, I've noticed that I can still gain a lot, even in the future. I'm still thinking to do more, much more, you know, on what I'm getting today. So it's a good thing and it's a good uh, initiative to be initiated in the community. No, we have uh, uh, the Kenyeji, the improved uh, Kenyeji yes. chicken, whereby we are able even to hatch the eggs from our own chicken. And now we are producing uh, 100 create 100 eggs per day because we only have 300 chickens there. And uh, I am happy seeing that it's a project which is growing because we are selling eggs and we can get money to buy food to feed them. And again, we're doing hatching, which means I give myself approximate, approximately six, seven months. Then I will have over 2,000 chicks from our own farm. So it's a practical business that if anybody want to invest in, I will say go and do it. So this what you see today is just a sample plot. We are in the learning process. But the, the plan I have for this is a big, broad plan for uh, the poultry farming. I want to do more than 2,000, 10,000 chicks, depending on how they grow. But uh, what I can say here, I'm a consumer number one in my house. We consume eggs and we consume in the, at the school, we consume at the hospital, and we still consume the same egg at the orphanage. So it is something which is supporting all my projects together because buying eggs every day and buying chickens all the time is not something that we can actually uh, rely on.
the cost, the running cost per day, if you calculate it per month, is, is taking me a hundred thousand. But I'm getting more than what I'm what I'm using. So the cost is not something very important to me for now. But what is important to me is how to maintain uh, the project to keep on running. So I'm spending close to hundred thousand per month, but I'm gaining more than that. If we start with this one, this is called settler or pre-treatment tank. Okay. So this one is uh, where we put uh, the cow dung or manure. Mm -hmm. Then if I've already, if, if, after already we've uh, put it in it, we have already put it inside here. Mm -hmm. We fill it with water. With, with the water. Okay. Then we leave it for 24 hours mm -hmm. to settle, so that the floating materials will come up, mm -hmm. and the material which cannot float, there is which are sinking, yes. uh, should go down. So that the, anything which is entering inside the digester mm -hmm. should not, we should not have uh, something like particles which are not going to be eaten with the, which cannot digest easily. They will, they will fill the tank, mm -hmm. and then after filling the tank, they will form something called scum. So if, they, if the tank has formed the scum, it will occupy the space of the gas. So this one is the inlet pipe. Okay. So it is the pipe which connects the settle and the digester. Uh -huh. Yes. That's so it. the digester, here is the digester. So this one, um, it has a gas. Okay. We fill it with the eight buckets daily of our cow dung. This is the digester okay. where the digestion takes place. Okay. So after uh, the cow dung has been eaten with the nini, the, after the bacteria has eaten the cow dung, uh -huh. so it produces gas. It, okay. This gas, the, there's a, there are very many types of gas. Yes. We have the sulfur, uh -huh. we have ammonia, uh -huh. we have uh, nitrogen, uh -huh. we have uh, we have methane. Uh -huh. So the methane, that is the gas which is working. So those oh. ones. We have the something called, called sulfur treat, or we can use the steel wool to filter the, this, uh, to filter the sulfur mm. and ammonia, so that the methane only that is the gas which is entered there. The house, okay. Going, going to to the house. Methane we can also use it to fill it in the cylinder, mm -hmm. so that we cook with it. Mm -hmm. We can also use the methane gas to run the chef cutter. Uh -huh. Yes. And also use the methane gas to run the generator. The okay. power generator. Okay. We can convert oh. the, uh, the generator to use gas instead of fuel. Yes, this is a, a green energy. Mm -hmm. Then the outcome of the which is coming, the outcome of the slurry which is coming inside here, that one we can. It it, it it's a fertilizer. We can use it for to plant maize, to spray herbicide for the for the. It kills the herbicides like aphids. We can use uh, we can use it to feed the uh, the fish. Mm -hmm. If it's eat it, if we can use it to feed the Chicken. chickens, mm -hmm. we can use it to feed the pigs mm -hmm. because uh, it removes a lot of fats to the pigs, ah. chicken or uh, the chicken or uh, or uh, pigs. Today we are uh, as a visitor of uh, Mr. Newton. I'm visiting his uh, small scale farming project, which is actually located on his own compound. And it's nice to see how he's feeding the cows with a mixture of food that he has produced on his shamba and food that you can buy in the market. And um, this is a, a very efficient way of raising your cows and increasing your milk production. And I believe that with this um, form of self-reliance, he can ensure the food supply for the patients in Barrels Hospital and the students in the school, and even some of the orphans in the orphanage. Um, this form of integrated, multi-sectoral approach to a big project um, requires somebody who is willing to be multitasking. And I think Mr. Newton is a good example of uh, being an architect and a farmer and a manager at the same time. Um, so. This small-scale farming is certainly uh, the future for entrepreneurs in Kenya. Thank you very much.